What's up, everyone? Matt back for another Who Are They? Real Review. And today, I am here to talk to you about something that I think all of us were really curious about. And honestly, some people thought it was going to be a little bit kiddie. Some people weren't sure what to expect. And I'm here to tell you, just go for the ride. Because it is none other than Marvel's Ms. Marvel. That is right. Marvel Studios' Ms. Marvel. Got to see the first two episodes. And honestly, this may be the highest quality Marvel show we've gotten from a filmmaking aspect. It's not as CGI reliant as a show like Loki or it's not as uh, dark and brooding as Falcon and Winter Soldier could be at times. It's very much like Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming. That's right. It's a lot like Spider-Man Homecoming. It's a lot of a coming-of-age story growing into this hero and you get to see that. And the opening is so beautiful. I mean, it really sets the tone as to who Kamala is as a character. And you just instantly fall in love with her. Uh, I I loved getting to spend each all these moments with her. And just exploring who she is as a character. And kind of what her what her story is and Iman Vellani just does fantastic as Kamala Khan. Um, Matt Lynch plays her best friend, Bruno. He does a great job. Yasmin Fletcher plays Nakia Badir, who's her other, her other friend. And just it's, it's beautiful that we're getting this story that is not only representation, but coming of age and just tackling some of the subject matter that there is. And uh, it's very much uh, female power, girl power, along with growing into your own person. And that was what was really fun for me. The, the set design, especially for Avengers Con, that was one of my favorite sequences. When we get to Avengers Con, just the set design and little montage they do is awesome. Uh, Kamala's daydreams when we're cutting into those, they're so vivid and silly and funny. You just sit there and you're laughing and you're smiling. It's a very lighthearted, fun time. And this is only, once again, six episodes. I wish it was more because I got to see a third of it. And I'm sitting here like, huh, I really think this could be like an eight, eight to ten episode show possibly and granted who, who knows maybe when i see all six together i'll feel like i'm wrong but uh i guess the one thing i wish i got to do more of or the, that this first two episodes did more of is elaborate on her powers more we uh she she has a bangle in this it's not like uh and it's got like this cosmic power to it. It's not like in the past where she's had powers similar to Mr. Fantastic. Um, but it's still for the most part, same type of physics. It's, but it's a cosmic think green lantern. It's like green lantern. With, and uh, I, it, it's cool. I want to see that explored a little bit more. I want it a little bit more backstory, which I'm sure we'll probably get in episodes three and four and five as to what this bangle is and how does it, how is it imbued with this power and so on and so forth, because that was realistically all I was missing from this. Um, it's very well acted. It's believable. It's the right tone. It's lighthearted and it's everything you want from a coming of age story. I mean, it was incredible. So if I'm going to give it a rating, it's four out of five. The, the missing backstory is is a lot of what I'm I'm do, my issues with with this and why I'm just dropping it down to a four. But I, I I can't wait for you guys to see some of these shots and transitions they use when it comes to texting, or uh, just how it's it's very much a it's it's very much. 
Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very much feels like that teen movie. It's it's not just uh, the typical Marvel fan fair. It's you you're seeing the text messages. It's, oh, I I don't even want to spoil it because it's part of the ride. So Ms. Marvel comes out tomorrow. At least the first episode. I don't know if you guys are getting the first two, but yeah, check it out. What are your thoughts? What do you think of this review? Remember to like, subscribe, follow, all the fun stuff we're doing over here. Comment. What are you thinking? Are you excited for Ms. Marvel tomorrow? I want to know. But until then, I'm Matt. This was another Who Are They Real Review, and we'll see you next time.